welcome back children so we had done some exercises some basic exercises on the chapter noun yesterday today we are going to focus on something else so uh, we are going to proceed with some more exercises and i'm going to see whether you are understanding this better or not so let's start so children today we are going to start with exercise number 4 we had done many exercises previously now we are going to start with exercise 4 so let us start so now exercise 4 is we have to look at the pictures and complete the following sentences all right we will be having some set of sentences where we will have one blank and we have to fill up the blanks by looking at the pictures given is it okay so the first one we do not go to school on on when when do we not go to school let's see the picture so this is it so as you can see children we can see it is written sunday and we can also see no school is written so we know that on sundays we do not have school so what are we going to write in that we are going to write we have no we do not go to school on sunday correct now we'll move to number 2 all right so here is number 2 a dash is one of the sweetest fruits a dash is one of the sweetest fruits can you name one sweetest fruit okay i'll give you an example see so as we can see here children we can see one mango yes mango is definitely one of the sweetest fruits we are having in summer season so let's write that down so a mango is one of the sweetest fruits isn't it so you write m a n g o mango correct now number 3 my mother my mother is a dash so you have to write your mother's profession so you definitely know your mother's profession i'll still help you with a picture see this so children this is the picture of a teacher correct so we are going to write down the sentence now let's write down my mother is a teacher correct now number 4 so let's write number 4 number 4 goes on like this the dash is the dash is crying full stop it is hungry so who is cry crying let's see let's see the picture to find out so we are seeing in the picture that a child a small baby is crying very badly isn't it it is a baby no yes it is so let us write down so the baby is crying full stop it is hungry now number 5 so what do we have in number 5 see sita is wearing sita is wearing something sita is wearing a new dash so we have to see in the picture what sita is wearing are you ready let's start so children what could we see we could see that sita is wearing a new frock a new nice pink colored frock so we are going to write sita is wearing a new frock is it okay with you yes it has to be now the next one number 6 number 6 is the frightened dash the frightened dash the frightened dash what the frightened dash ran away let's see who ran away so children as you can see this is a horse frightened horse so let's write down the frightened horse ran away all right now the next one number 7 i saw a dash in the zoo 
I saw a dash in the zoo. What do we see in the zoo? We see animals. Now, which animal are we talking about? C. So, yes, children, this is a tiger, as you can see in the picture. So, let's write down the sentence now. I saw a tiger in the zoo. Is it okay? Now, we will be moving to number 8. What is number 8? Number 8 is everyone does not, everyone does not like an dash, comma, I also don't. What is that children? A vegetable. Let's show you. So yes, this is an onion. You have seen this in kitchen when your mother cooks, isn't it? So let's write down. Everyone does not like an onion. I also don't. But personally, I like onions. I don't know about you, but I like. Okay, now next one. Number 9. Number 9 is the dash, the dash climbed up a tree. Who can climb a tree? C. So what is this children? This is a monkey. Correct. So a monkey can climb up a tree. Isn't it? Yes, many of the children can but monkeys can do it very well. Okay. So the monkey climbed up a tree. Now we are going to write the next sentence which is number 10. What is it? The Ganges. The Ganges. You know Ganges? Ganges is a river. Okay. The Ganges is a holy dash. Holy what? I just told. Let's see the picture and understand. Yes, children. This is a river where we can see the holy water of Ganges. Ganges or Ganga. Your mother and father knows about this very well. They will be able to tell you about this more. Now, when we have finished exercise 1, we are going to move towards exercise 2. Alright. So, are we ready for that? Yes, we are. Exercise 4. Sorry. Let's start exercise 4. So, exercise 4 would be write the names of people. Write the names of people who help us. So, we have to write the names of those people who help us. Alright. So, what will it be? We have to first give the heading. What will be the heading? See. What do we call? So, we have to write what do we call these persons. That is why we have written this heading. Now, number one. Question number one is a person who gives us medicine when we are sick or maybe they treat us. They treat us when we are sick or gives us medicine, prescribes some medicine to us when we are sick. Who is that? Who do you go to when you are sick? Your parents take you, na? Where do they take you? To whom do they, do they take you? Who prescribes medicine for you? Do you know? Of course you know. See, let's see the picture. Yes, children. So, who is this? Who do you think this is? This is a doctor. Correct. So, let's write down. A person who gives us medicine when we are sick is a doctor. Alright. Now, we move to number 2. So, what will be number 2? Number 2 would be a person. A person who brings our letters who brings our letters to our homes the person who comes knocks your door and hands you the letter that has been sent to you who is that do you know of course you know see the picture see the man is ringing your doorbell and waiting for you to answer him so that he can give you the letter who is this the postman correct so, this would be the postman. Now, number three, a person, a person who makes clothes for us. Um, who do you think makes clothes for you? We have to wear our clothes. No, it is necessary. So, who makes our clothes, children? 
there's one person who makes our clothes. Do you know the person? Let's see if we know the person. See. So yes, children, this is a tailor. Correct. So now let us write down the sentence. So a person who makes clothes for us to wear is a tailor. T-A-I-L-O-R. Tailor. Now we move to the next one. Number four. A person who brings us milk from the dairy. What is a dairy children? Dairy is a place from where we get milk. And who brings us milk children? Do you know? Let's see the person. So yes, we can see a man is milking the cow so that he can bring the milk at your doorstep. So who is this man called? What is this man called? This man is called a milk man because he brings us milk, isn't it? So let's write down. A person who brings us milk from the dairy is a milkman. M-I-L-K milk, M-A-N man. Now we move to the next one, number five. What is number five? A person. A person who catches bad people. See, there are many bad people in our world, isn't it? There are two types of people. One good people, one is bad people. So who catches the bad people? See this. Yes, you heard it right. They use guns, isn't it? So what are these people called, you know? They are called policemen. Correct. So let's write down P-O-L-I-C-E-M-A-N. Policeman. A person who catches bad people is called policeman. Now number six. A person who goes to sea. A person who goes to sea in a ship is called a... The person who goes to sea in a ship is called what? Do you know? Okay. I will tell you. I don't think you have an idea about this. I'll tell you. See this picture. So the person who goes to sea in a ship is called a sailor. Okay. So we'll write down S-A-I-L-O-R. Okay. So I guess children, the chapter uh, is clear with you. So if you have understood, we will be proceeding with some more things tomorrow. Till then, take care, bye bye and keep learning. Lots of love.